Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to the daily spiritual food for our nourishment, empowerment, and divine direction. Let Turning Point be your first assignment for the day. Use it for your daily devotion. After receiving the teachings or testimonies, let your faith be released to connect to the day's prophetic prayers for you. Engage whatever faith prophetic action we may be asked to take for the day. Then pray more on your own. Speak over your day. Prophesy to the atmosphere. Take spiritual control of the day before you step out of the house. Anoint yourself also. Welcome also to Thursday, the eighth day in June 2023. Eight is God's number for a new beginning. God is going to open new chapters in your life. Now, open your hand or lay them on yourself to receive today's prayerful blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. No matter what happened in your yesterday, today is a new day for you. A new beginning. You will walk into new opportunity doors. Ezekiel 37 verses 4 and 5, God said, Prophesy to dry bones that they live again. Who is this? Your situation is like the dry bones in the valley. Things are hard. Business not growing. Ministry stagnant. Promises made to you not kept. Market not moving. Buyers are not coming. New clients are not calling. Help not coming. Death here and there. Dry bones in the valley. The Spirit of God is saying to me, prophesy to dry bones in the valley. Your situation looks hopeless and helpless. The devil is a liar. That is not who you are. That is not you. If this is for you, touch yourself and let me pray. I prophesy, dry bones rise again. Dry bones in the valley, rise and live again. This ugly situation of your life, receive a turn around now. Within the next few days, you shall witness massive changes. Help us will come. New ideas will come. Good news will reach you. You shall smile again. Your sun shall rise again. Then who is this? God asked me to announce to you, as far as shame is concerned, you will not know shame again the rest of your life. In 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1, King David was restless. He woke up one day and he announced, Is there yet anyone left in the household of Saul that I may show mercy? For Jonathan's sake, Mephibosheth was found and brought. The king sent for him and he blessed him beyond measure. I bow my knees before God Almighty, God of heaven, to pray for anyone that needs mercy at this time that needs kindness, that needs support, help, and assistance. Your own David will arise and remember you. Those whose heart God has touched and mandated to bless and help you shall become sleepless and restless till they send for you, locate you, and bless you. Somebody, please, speak quietly as you listen to me now. Let everybody do that. Wherever you are, where do you need help? Where do you need support and assistance? Where and which kind of help and support and assistance do you desire? Quietly pray. Mention them to God now in prayer. Whisper them to God. God hears even our whispers. Describe the help, the support, and the assistance you need. The divine intervention for yourself, your daughter, your son, your spouse, or your anyone that is close to you. Go on. Pray more. I'm waiting for you to pray more. Pray before I round it off for you. Say them and describe them again and again. Now, let God hear you. Ask him. Be very specific. Mention it. Mention them. It will happen. Now, be saying amen as I run it off for you in prayer. May God grant you your heart desire. Angels are here by release to go on assignment for you. In few hours time or in few days time, your answers will start arriving. You will give a major testimony here soon. In Jesus' name, God will bless you more than ever before. June 8th, celebrant, your birthday prayers, open your hands. Be blessed. Receive fresh oil for good health, successful living, good old age, and prosperity in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Now, let's take some teachings from questions and situations that listeners are sending in from all over the world. First one today. Good morning, daddy. Can my half sister, same mother but different father, marry my stepbrother, same father but different mothers? 
assuming all your teachings on marriage are all met. I'm a female and my, my both parents are late. Wow. No. Why would they want to create such a controversy around themselves? Although there are clans or there are cultures where people of the same family marry themselves, but not so with us here. I don't think so. Let each of them look for someone else to marry. I think it is neater that way. There will be no unnecessary controversy and gossip around them. Please let them so. Next, good day, sir. How can I overcome nightmares and sometimes demons come to press me down at night? Wow. First of all, be truly born again. Give your heart and life to Jesus Christ, which we call salvation, if you have not already done so. Then engage the spiritual warfare prayer strategies as you regularly teach it here. Those infiltrations and nightmares will soon disappear. Next, my wife's friend took her to her husband's church. After the service, the pastor said, my wife is possessed with marrying spirit and she needs deliverance that she will pay 20,000 naira for general deliverance or 10,000 naira for personal deliverance. My question is, is that right to pay pastors for deliverance? Please treat as urgent, sir. Wow, those are not pastors. They are hirelings. They are in business. And your wife's friend that took your wife there is a commission paid agent to him, recruiting their victims for them. Then, if I may ask, why is your wife being taken about to churches? Are you not a Christian? Didn't you belong to a church? You said that your, your wife is, which means you are the husband. And as a husband, you are supposed to be the spiritual umbrella over your family. You are supposed to lead your family before God and to God. Let her run away from that liar that you call the pastor. Your wife should also cut off from that friend. Anyone asking you to pay for prayers, anointing oil, mantu, and for deliverance is an exploiter, a hireling, not a pastor. God said, freely you receive and freely give. Next, sir, you said that there is no correlation between payment of dowry and making heaven. In a situation where the dowry is not paid and the couple are meeting regularly, is that not fornication? And will fornicators make heaven? Wow, you are mixing things up here. Dowry payment on the bride is part of the traditional marriage. After which parents, parents, parents prayers are made upon the bride prayer to release their daughter to, to marry. So if dowry is not paid and parental blessings are not made, which we call traditional marriage, then there was no marriage at all between the two. Don't call them couples. They are not. Living together of them is fornication. No dowry and parental blessings and release, then no marriage. Please don't mix them up. Next, my son's newly born child died some days after delivery due to doctor's negligence. They also delayed treatment, claiming the baby wasn't ready. I made a vow which I fulfilled. The baby died about two hours after I made the vow and I fulfilled it. Please, Daddy, how can I explain this? Can I say it is God's will or how sh should I describe this? I know we can't bribe God. Daddy, I feel so bad. Wow. Again, we feel your pain and commiserate with you, your son and his wife. You said it all due to doctor's negligence. Let me say this here today for everybody. God's power to do miracles are not in doubt. And God can do miracles does not remove our own responsibilities in whatever God will do for us. So, for the antenatal and postnatal and any medical attention we may require at all, we must go to a properly equipped hospital with competent doctors and nurses and other paramedics. In our clans here, many so-called private hospitals are slaughter slabs, slaughterhouses, established to make money with no competent medical personnel. I guess this will be one of such hospitals that your son's wife was taken into. Is that doctor a gynecologist? 
putting on white overall and hanging the titoscope does not make anyone a sincere doctor or competent doctor. So I plead with all my listeners, life is too precious. I know good hospitals charge high fees. That's why God will bless you with money to be able to pay. Once again, sorry, may God comfort your heart. God will give them another child, in fact, children, very soon. This time around, please, they should register in a good and proper competent hospital. We will do more here tomorrow. Please rebroadcast it to your contact and do so daily. Today is the D-Day, the Prayer Mountain Service Day in Goshen Land, opposite Allen Avenue Interchange, Ikeja, Lagos. So all members and listeners in and around Lagos, leave home on time and be there live. Prayer Mountain Service today is powerful. The focus is powerful. Nobody should miss it. End to endless struggles. All struggles, all waitings, all tears, all pains, all regrets will come to an end today. Anointed prayer mantle shall be given to those coming for the first time for praying and doing miracles for free. Come and see how things run on prayer mountain yourself. Two services will run today as usual. 7 to 9 a.m. first service. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. second service. Same two services of prayer mountain we hold simultaneously in Dominion City, Ibadan. Kuluba Abel Kuta, Oshobo, Akure, Portacot, and Itukalaba Highway Junction. We hope same time and same impartation. Bring items and things to represent where you want God to intervene for you. Please invite all you know, invite others. End to endless struggles. And then, everyone, prepare for Monday, June 12th. No more delay service. I will be holding at Goshen Land, Allen Avenue, Ikeja, from 8 a.m. that day. All Living Spring Chapel Centers nationwide will open. All of you be there and receive it. All the Living Spring Chapel Centers in Ibadan, Abuja, Abel Kuta, Oshogbo, Portaco, Juyo, and all other places be there live. It shall be transmitted to the whole world. Join us online from wherever you are. Each time we receive the alert of your tithe and all the other seed we preach, we teach and believe. And then the 666 seed, I take it personal. I intentionally pray for you. Do so as God gives you the grace. Everyone under the sound of my voice is blessed. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day.